Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial with me, Elven Dragon. Today we're doing something a little different, and we are doing a bit of a build tutorial for some of the anemones that I have built. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we have a few anemones of different sizes here, and I will be showing you how to build all three sizes, as well as a couple with different color palettes, because you can basically build these out of whatever block you want. I personally like blocks that don't have any borders because it makes it look more like a seamless hole and all you need for materials for this is two different colored solid blocks. And the amounts will vary based upon which size anemone you decide to build. So what I like to do with these anemones is I like to start out by making the body of the anemone in the color that I choose and then I usually double the base for the biggest ones to give it a bit of height and then from there I add a bit of a curve to it just so that it isn't straight up and down. I just feel like it is more natural for them to be curved. And when I tried building one perfectly straight, it just looked off to me. And it just looks more organic than if you have them straight. So for the biggest anemones, I like to go up by four layers. I just feel like that gives them enough height off the ground. And then for the medium ones, what I'll do is I will basically do the same thing, but Instead of having two layers that are exactly the same, I'll basically kind of combine layers two and three together. So we, so we get the bit of a slant in there. And then I'll just kind of go straight up. And then for the smallest ones, I usually just put a single block. Now for the tentacles, this is where you can kind of do kind of whatever. I like to have a plot on top to kind of work off of for each of these. And then what we'll do is each one of these has a different number. And I'll just kind of build up and I'll do a lot of diagonals for these. And at this point it might be useful to get a temporary block that you can put in to help build these diagonals. But I will go up a couple blocks diagonally and I'll kind of squiggle them around, I guess. So they aren't all just going in one direction. They'll kind of arc up and they'll turn mid arc. And for these biggest ones, I'll usually try and keep them to about four blocks long. I just feel like that gives a good length compared to the size of the base. Some of them I'll go up to five and I'll try to spread these out along the top of the anemone. Basically kind of put one in wherever I feel like we need a little bit more space taken up. And the effect that you're kind of trying to go for is you're kind of making a dome out of the top here. And the tentacles have been kind of moved and spread about. So you don't really want them sticking straight up or straight out because that'll make them look more like spines than tentacles. They are supposed to be soft, not hard. So now for the medium and the small ones, we start out kind of the same way, except I kind of keep these small ones here to about two blocks for the tentacles and there are also fewer of them because there is not as much space. So I do try and fill these in just to kind of use up all the space that we really have. And I find that three tentacles is about the right number for these small ones. Any more and you start getting really over full because you can't really spread them out very well. So they all just kind of look like a big blob. And then once I get the tentacles mapped out, I'll usually go and fiddle with the directions of the ends just to try and see what looks better and what just kind of looks and feels more natural. And then these medium ones, it's kind of the same principle as the big ones. But instead of four or five length, you have three or four. And again, just kind of try and fill in the space. You don't want to go too high above the anemone base because then it won't look like it's actually connected and it'll look kind of sticking up instead of drooping. So I'll usually only try and go about two or three blocks above the main body of the anemone before I start drooping the tentacles back down. So there is one more thing that you can do to these to add a little bit more detail. And that is to add some sort of light block like magma blocks or shroom lights or glowstone to the tips of the tentacles. Basically just replace the last block with the light block and all of a sudden your anemones turn into a decorative light source. And that is about all there is to these things. And there you go, just three different little coral... And there you go, just three di 
And there you go, three different little anemones that you can use to spruce up your ocean builds. And that is going to be it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And I will catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.